floppy hat photos here back for my next little update on my hot water replacement my hot water heater replacement and what I have so far is I had to come in and resolder these joints I don't know why it's there we go feel better light I had to resolder these joints here 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 and then unfortunately over here I didn't realize I did not think about it at all the old hot water heater these two pieces were farther apart the way it fit it was a different layout so the pipes are in a different location now that one before, because it was longer, was able to spin around, so I didn't think I had to worry about it. Unfortunately, this pipe here was in location, was hitting this 90 degree turn. So in order to thread this on, I'd already soldered this tight. I didn't want to redo it. I pulled apart that joint back here, which actually is still really damn hot. Just got finished. That was stupid of me. Um, don't think I burnt myself, just scared myself there. Um, that right there is where I had to pull it apart, not a big deal, but then I had to assemble it and then solder it here in the, in the building. I wanted to not solder it right here next to the hot water heater. I was afraid to get too much heat, cause it problems. I wanted to make the joint back there as far as I could. So luckily didn't burn the house down, which is awesome. Feeling good about that. Um, got my paste. I've used a, um, TFE paste and the joints where it screws onto. I, I'm hoping I'll keep it from corroding, although if this lasts me another 10 years, 15 years, who cares at that point, I guess. Um, the solder joints here and here I'm hoping are going to hold. I do not know. This is my, um, I guess, go moment. Only thing I have left to do, oh, I did wire already. Um, the grounds on the old one had a separate screw. These are just in here for my ground wires to ground the whole unit. Positive and positive there. The two powers for the 220 and 240, depending on who you talk to. You. I still got to screw in my um, down pipe which isn't a big deal. I'll screw that in there real quick. And then I'm going to drill a hole in my floor down below to allow it to get out of the um, main part of the house and take care of that. But right now I'm going to flip the switch here and start filling this baby and hope for no leaks. I'm also going to go ahead and open up one of my hot water lines, which I have right here. As you can see, it's dripping out, allowing the air to come in. Um, that's all it is, the water and lines being pushed out there as the air comes into the hot water heater. As this thing, you can hear it. I'm going to take it a little bit to fill up here. And I'll have to keep coming back in looking for leaks and stuff the next couple days. Um, that way I can stay super positive and optimistic this is all going to go with off without a hitch that's my goal so i'm going to go back over here and you can see i've got my faucet open full blast right here which like i said it's just basically blowing air out at the moment that's just the line going the water that's in the lines from the hot water here to here to the kitchen sink and the water going in is much greater pressure than that coming out so we're just going to watch this see how long this maybe takes here and then come back here in a little bit for checking for leaks i'll talk to you later have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.